Hi, I'm Savannah Saylor. And I'm Annie Yoder. This, this is, is your newscast for Friday, November 15th. The six-week grading period ended last Friday. All grades should be finalized by Wednesday for grade checks. Make sure to check your grades on Skyward. If you think your grades aren't as good as they could be, use this new grading period to get them up and impress your coaches and parents. Mr. Powell, Mr. Rendell, Mr. Ebright, Mr. Brew, and others are raising money for the American Cancer Society by participating in No Shave November. You can donate money to these teachers and others wearing pink fanny packs. So far, Ms. Bonk and Ms. Sizz have collected the most money. The Shakespeare Club is here, run by Mr. Ebright. It will be held every Tuesday from 3.15 to 4.30. If you'd like to join, email Mr. Ebright. ISMA signups have been happening this week. Remember that if you've signed up, remember to hand in your form and turn in your money to Mr. Chamberlain if you're in band or Mrs. Such if you're in choir by today. Our next musical auditions are coming on December 16th. If you need more information, make sure you email Ms. Beeson. Juniors and seniors, Next week, we will have two colleges visiting Mishawaka. On Monday, November 18th, Bethel University will be coming to MHS. And then on Thursday, November 21st, Vogue Beauty College will be visiting. If you are interested in these visits, please email your counselor to get you signed up before the day of the visit. The MHS 100 committee has been fundraising since July, and today the letters for the cave and the auditorium went up. In the near future, you will see a natatorium and the West Gem signs. The names will make it easier for all our families and guests to locate our venues while keeping the integrity and authentic look of Mishawaka High School. The Wind Ensemble went to Story Point Senior Living to celebrate the birthday of Allison Lennox, who is a 1983 grad. Here's a video of their visit. What is the date today? Mm. November 8th. What, why is that special? Yeah, that's my birthday. <gasps> Happy birthday! Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't know a whole lot about the story, but Allison has told us that the band's coming, so we said, all right, the band's coming. The people from Mishawaka High School is going to come in, and they're going to have a big, huge marching band outside. It's dependent because of the weather. Yeah. Well, you can do that in here in the right. hallway. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It just hits your heart. You could see how excited she was, even though she knew it was happening because she planned it. <laughs> she planned it in our heads because she talked about it since the day she arrived. And just to see the joy that she got from the moment of seeing the marching band was wonderful. Yeah, Miss Walker High School. Yeah, yeah. I'm first Allison syndrome, class of 83. And I feel really honored that Allison won us here today and that we got to put a smile on people's faces. Hey, we are here to wish you a wonderful birthday, and we're glad we can be here to celebrate with you, okay? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I, I went all different schools. I went to Mishawaka and Grissom and John Young, Chimbrand School and home school. Yeah. I got five schools go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Story Point has a motto, 1440, and 1440 is to make sure every single minute of the day, which there's 1440 minutes, is made to make a difference in someone's yeah. life. It brought so much joy to Allison's life today, and she's going to continue talking about it for the rest of her life. Marching band was here. Was it great? Yeah, with a good-looking guy. <laughs> yeah. That's the big thing about a dream. Don't keep it to yourself, because if you tell everybody about it, your somebody will help you make your dream come true. Thank you, Mishawaka Marching Band! Yay! <laughs> Students are preparing for this year's Vespers concert on Sunday, December 8th at 3 p.m. Vespers is a choir concert that involves Christmas and holiday music. Students will also be recreating paintings and photos on stage. The Mishawaka Network will have two more live streams this month. Tonight, the network will stream the football game on IHSAA-TV. Then, on the 19th, the second girls' basketball game will be live streamed on YouTube, Facebook, and IHSAA-TV. The Quiz Bowl had a match last week on Wednesday, November 6th against Washington. The JV team won 255 to 30, and the varsity team won 105 to 95. Keep up the great work and good luck on your next match. We are really in need for lifeguards here at MHS. 
If you are wanting to earn some extra cash and you are a certified lifeguard, please email Ms. Smith for more information. If you want to learn how to become a lifeguard, also email Ms. Smith for more information. Since basketball season is starting up, that means pep band is too. They will be at most of our basketball games this year. You must be in a band class to sign up for pep band. Talk to Mr. Chamberlain or view the post on Mishawaka High School band page for more information. The Durban Trips meeting was early this week. If you have any questions, please email Ms. Dombrowskis. Mr. Rendell has been working on a documentary about Mishawaka High School and the past hundred years of its history. It was released on the Mishawaka Network YouTube channel. Make sure to watch it to learn lots about this school and its history. SCM has changed their website for a more modern and accessible look. Make sure to check it out at mishawakaschools.com. There are all kinds of useful information and links about the school and the school system. Now to Trey Dunning and Will Mason with your sports report for this week. I'm Trey Dunning. And I'm Will Mason, and this is your sports section. The boys basketball team had tryouts earlier in the week. To everyone who made the team, great job and have a great season. The first home game will be on December 3rd against Riley High School. Good luck, cavemen. The first home girls basketball game was yesterday. Their very first game was at Upsetting Lost against South Bend St. Joe. They have another upcoming game soon. Good luck, cavemen. Last week, the Mishawaka wrestling team started with three of the wrestlers being ranked in the state. Those three wrestlers are Josh Kite being 13th at 126, Nicholas Fries being 20th at 106, and Trey Dunning being ranked 14th at 215. The Mishawaka season will start on December 3rd at Warsaw. Good luck, kid, man. The Mishawaka girls wrestling team had the Wildcat Open at Whitco. Mishawaka sent eight girls. Out of the eight, four of them placed. In, the fir in first was Annika Grayless and Kaylee Smith. In second was Desiree and Hope. They're ranked sixth out of 23 schools. Congratulations, cavemen. Boys and girls swim and dive practices have officially started. If you are interested in joining the team, head to the athletic office or go to the pool after school for more information. We can always use more members. The bowling team went to Chippewa and got team pictures. The boys went one-on-one, -on -one, making them now seven-on-one. The girls also went one-on-one -on -one and are now at five-and-three. Winter Guard needs more members. If you are interested or curious on what goes on in the Winter Guard, please email Mrs. Stutzman. Winter Guard can be for anyone as long as you try out or show up to practice. You will fit right in. Last Friday, the Mishawaka came and took on the Northwood Panthers at Northwood. Mishawaka took an early lead with a 46-yard touchdown by Landon Snyder to take an early lead. But in the second quarter, Northwood had two touchdowns and shut down Mishawaka to give them a one-score game. Today is the regional against New Prairie at our home field. Tickets will be sold for $10. In case you can't come tonight, Mishawaka Network will stream the game on IHSAA TV. The theme is wide out, dress accordingly, and dress warm. Absolutely no baby power. Good luck, cavemen. The JYMS play was last week. They did The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. It was amazing for their drama club. Keep it up. We have an e-learning day on November 27th. Then we have the days off on the 28th and the 29th for Thanksgiving. Enjoy the days off, cavemen. Monday was Veterans Day. This day is a day meant to honor any and all people who have served in the military. After the Pledge of Allegiance, Malcolm Hans played taps for the third year in a row over the intercom for our school's moment of silence. Have a good Friday, cavemen. Good luck at the game tonight. Shout out to Gage Nears Wiki. And happy birthday to Michaela Yoder. Have a great Friday.